Hey guys, Jamie of the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to start making your own lotion. Before you get intimidated, trust me, it is not as difficult as it feels like it's going to be. I know when I made lotion for the first time, I was really intimidated and I thought it was going to be really hard. And then once I started making it, I realized just how simple it is to make. I did put the full recipe for this down in the description box below. I also put a link to my blog where I go just a little bit more in depth about all the ingredients, why we use them, everything like that. Now, before we actually make our lotion, I feel like it's really important for you to understand like what goes into a lotion. What does a lotion consist of? So a lotion has four basic parts and that's gonna be water, oil, an emulsifier, and then a preservative. Those four parts are what makes up any lotion. Granted, you can add to it, but I really, really suggest that you get the basics of making a lotion down before you expand upon it. Once you learn how to make it, then you're gonna be surprised at all the ingredients that you can add in and all the changes that you can make to really make the perfect lotion for your skin. Um, like I said, I do go a little bit more in depth on the blog than I do in the video. So if you wanna learn a little bit more, feel free to hop over there. Without further ado, let's dive in and learn how to make some lotion. So the first phase of our lotion is going to be our water phase ingredients. So for this recipe, I'm only using distilled water. Now it's really important that you use distilled water. You don't want to just use regular tap water and it is pretty inexpensive. So just make sure that you have distilled water. Now, if you were adding more ingredients, like a more complex lotion recipe, you would add like a hydrosol in here, or you could add some aloe vera, or if you wanted, you could add a humectant like vegetable glycerin that would all go in the water phase. So anything that's water soluble is gonna go into your water phase. So our next phase is the oil phase. In the oil phase, we have all of our oil ingredients. So in order to make this a lotion, we need to have an emulsifier, right? Because the emulsifier is what's gonna make the oil and the water mix because naturally they wanna separate. Like think about if you just take like a cup of water and you pour some oil in there, it's not gonna mix up. That's why we need an emulsifier. Now I'm using all of them 1000. And as you can see, it's like little flakes. In addition to the emulsifier, in order to make the emulsion as stable as you can, right? Because you don't want the oil and water to separate. I'm also using a co-emulsifier. So for the co-emulsifier, I'm using acetyl alcohol. Now the word alcohol is sometimes misleading. It sounds like it's gonna be drying for your skin, but this is not, it's actually very moisturizing for your skin. We also are gonna need some oils and butters in our lotion. So I went with sunflower oil, which is a really lightweight oil. You can certainly swap this out for any carrier oil that you'd like, whether it's olive oil or any type of carrier oil that you want. It's an easy swap to do in a lotion. And I also went ahead and added a butter. So I'm gonna use kokum butter, which is a rather brittle butter. You can feel free to swap this out if you wanna do shea butter or cocoa butter or any butter that you would like to use in your lotion. Now in our final phase, which is the cool down phase, we have two ingredients and these are gonna be our heat safe ingredients. So we actually put these into the lotion after it's cooled down because we're not trying to get them too warm and have them become ineffective. The first one is gonna be your preservative. Now, I know sometimes people don't wanna use a preservative, but unfortunately, anytime you are using water in your recipe, you do have to use a preservative. Otherwise, you're gonna start growing some pretty nasty stuff pretty quickly. If you are against using a preservative, I would recommend that you make a whipped body butter or something that does not contain water, because if you leave this out, it's gonna go bad on you. Um, I've heard putting in the fridge, which, I don't know, to me it's kind of weird because it'd be cold and also it's not going to last very long. And the next ingredient that we have in here, and it is completely optional, is a fragrance oil. So we're going to go ahead and add all of our oil phase ingredients into a heat safe container. All of them a thousand. Acetyl alcohol. Cocoa butter. Sunflower oil. So what I'm going to do now is grab a double boiler. This is just a pan with a silicone mat that I kind of cut. Um, and I'm just going to place my oil phase ingredients in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab another one for my water phase ingredients. Now, since we didn't have anything else that went into the water phase, this is just distilled water. But if you had other stuff that you were adding, say vegetable glycerin, you would add it in here before you heat it up. Now you might be wondering, why are we heating both of these up? In order for our emulsion to work, we need both of these to be roughly the same temperature and we need to melt all of our 
oil phase ingredients. So we're gonna pop these on the double boiler until the oil phase ingredients are completely melted. But if you forget to heat up your water phase ingredients, it is not gonna mix at all. The minute you dump this in here, it's gonna turn back into like this flaky solid consistency. So you have to have both of these roughly the same temperature in order to make a lotion. Now I can never get the best angle over here on my stove, but I think this is good enough. As you can see, I have both phases on the stove at the same time and I have them on a very low heat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them sit on here until our oil phase is completely melted. I will stir this one periodically. I don't stir it consistently, but periodically I will come in and I will give the oil phase a good mix. Now, if I had anything else in the water phase, I would mix that also. Um, I might just give it just a quick little mix just to make sure that all of the water is kind of the same temperature, but I'm not gonna mix it as much as I'm gonna mix the oil phase ingredients. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use this for my mixing container. If you have a bigger heat safe container, you don't necessarily need this. I like it because it's going to be deep enough for my immersion blender. And then if the lotion's thin enough to pour, I have the pouring spout. And I don't know, this is just my favorite mixing container. So I'm going to be using this one, but you can really use any one that you'd like. So when you pull your stuff off the double boiler, you always want to come in with a rag and wipe the outside of the container. That way there's no water from out here getting into your lotion. So we're gonna pull our water in there. Oh, this is hot. And at the same time, add our oil phase ingredients. And we're gonna come in with the immersion blender. So at first, when you come in with your immersion blender, you want to start out kind of at a slow speed. Otherwise, the lotion's going to go like flying out of the container at you. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of check to see where the temperature is at. And we're at like 125 degrees Fahrenheit. No, this is too hot for my preservative. So what I'm gonna do is just allow this to sit for a little bit. Okay, so I've let this cool down for probably about 15 or 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check the temperature. And we're at 93 degrees. So that's fine. Um, I like to be right around, you know, 90, 95 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and add the fragrance oil. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and add our preservative. So once you get your preservative and the fragrance oil in there, you just want to go in, give it a really good mix. Um, Normally I like to hit it with the immersion blender, but this lotion is awfully thick, so I don't think that it's gonna mix very well with the immersion blender, so I'll just mix it by hand. Okay, so our lotion is done, and we need to go ahead and package it. It is gonna be very difficult to get it into this bottle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pipe it in here. Now the easiest way that i found to do this is to go ahead and put a baggie right into a cup and we're just going to fill this with our lotion. So we'll just go ahead and scoop it all in there. Um, if you make a thinner lotion, oftentimes, even after it's cooled down, you can use the pouring spout, spout <laughs> to get it directly into your bottle. But when you make a thicker lotion like this, it's not going to be easy to get in there without a big old mess. Once you have the lotion in there, just take your baggie. Slip it closed, kind of squeeze out some of the air. A wee little spot right here. And 
And then as you can see, you can just kind of pipe it right into your bottle. And it's a whole lot easier than trying to get it in there with like a spoon or if you're trying to use the pour and spout. Now, the lotion is pretty cool, but it's not quite room temperature. So what we're going to do is after I get it into the bottle, I'm going to leave the cap off of this until it actually gets to be room temperature. Now, the reason why we do that is we don't want any condensation in the lid because if you get condensation in the lid, what's going to happen is water can pool on the very top of your lotion and then start to grow mold and bacteria. So best just to leave the lid off until it's completely cooled and then you can lid it, you know, put the cap on and then it's completely fine. And sometimes like, as you can see up here at the top, when I'm putting this in there, it's getting stuck a bit. So you just kind of tap it on the counter. And there is your lotion. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed making your lotion as much as I do. Um, I did want to kind of show you the final consistency of it. I don't know that I really showed that in the video. So um, I'll just put a little bit there. So there is our final lotion. And as you can tell, it's not super thin, but it's not quite as thick as like a cream is. Um, I've been using this for the last couple of days and I really love the way that it's feeling on my skin. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making lotion. Bye.